in this way, it's a fair comparison. Both are RNA viruses. And because they're RNA viruses, they mutate fairly rapidly. That is, when you get infected and they make a copy, the virus makes a copy of itself, it doesn't do it with great fidelity doesn't do it 100% accurately. And so every time it makes a copy, it, it makes mistakes. So that results in variance. Um, influenza does it at a phenomenal rate. So over the span of a year around the globe, there will be a thousand or more variants of influenza that come up. And so when they make the influenza vaccine, CDC and World Health Organization look for the four worst and they make a vaccine against those. What we're seeing with COVID is for people who are um, infected over a long period of time, those vaccines, be those variants begin to accumulate and, and those become a problem. The ones that are out and become a common strain become more prevalent because they're more easily transmitted. That's what their variant does for them. Fortunately, all of the variants right now are still sensitive to vaccine immunity. So that's all good news. And it will take many, many, many mutations for them to become resistant to vaccine-based immunity. So, so far, so good. But what this means is that we're frankly in a race to get as many people vaccinated as possible before a resistant variant pops up.